Howdy, y'all. This is Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas, with a lesson in quadratic equations and completing the square. You will learn how to complete the square in this video. So you must stay to the end. I'm going to make some assumptions. I'm going to assume that you know what a squared binomial is. I'm going to assume that you know what a quadratic equation is. I'm going to assume that you know what trinomial factoring is. And I'm going to assume that you know what imaginary numbers are. And if you don't know what these are, be sure to go watch one of my videos. What is complete the square? Well, it's a method for solving quadratic equations when factoring won't work. And it's a necessary skill needed to work with the conics. So you must learn it. You must learn how to do it. But before we start, let's review a few things. First, let's look at the standard form of a quadratic equation. AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero is standard form. So when we have something like 2X squared minus 3X equals nine, we must subtract nine from both sides and get an equation set equal to zero. Just using our algebra skills to do that. Then we need to look at the vertex form and that's just simplifying a quadratic equation into the form that you see there, where h and k are the vertex of the parabola from the quadratic. And then we need to make sure we know what a perfect trinomial is. A perfect trinomial is the result of a binomial squared. So x plus three squared actually means x plus three times x plus three when we expand it out. So a quick way to do this is square the first term, x squared. Multiply the two terms and double. 3x doubled is 6x, and then square the last term. And there you have a perfect trinomial. Imaginary numbers. Using Euler's notation, we know that the imaginary number is defined as i equals the square root of negative 1. And that's a beautiful thing because it gives us a way to work with negative square roots. So the square root of negative 4 equals the square root of negative one times the square root of four, and the square root of four is two, and the square root of negative one is i. That's how we do imaginary numbers. And if you're not sure about any of this, be sure to check uh, my videos for other lessons. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's get started. First, we're gonna look at the standard form, turn it into the vertex form, and then using the vertex form, we're going to create a perfect trinomial which is a squared binomial, and you can see the example there. All right, so x squared plus 6x plus 8 equals 0. Subtract 8 from both sides, and we will get x squared plus 6x equals negative 8. Take half the middle term, then square it, and you get 9. Now, add 9 to both sides. So we add 9 to both sides, and then we simplify by taking or factoring the left side and of course combining the right side. X plus three quantity squared equals one. That's the square completed. And you'll notice with just minusing one from both sides, we could end up with the vertex form. So now we'll add three to both sides and then uh, factor out a negative as well. So therefore we have X squared plus four X equals negative three. Now, take the middle term, the 4x, take half of that, and you'll get 2. Square that, and you're, of course, going to get 4. Add 4 to both sides. And when we do that, we can then go ahead and factor the left side, and, of course, combine the right side. And there's the square completed. Rewrite it in vertex form, and you have a very useful equation. Now, let's solve a problem using complete the square. Solve the following by completing the square. x squared plus 6x minus 4 equals 0. First thing I want to do is go to my blackboard and add 4 to both sides. Now, let's rewrite it and take the middle term, take half of it, and then square and get 9. So now let's add 9 to both sides. That gives us a perfect trinomial on the left, and we want to add to the right to keep uh, equality. Factor the left side and combine the right side. Now we need to take the square root of both sides. 
That'll give us x plus 3 equals plus or minus the square root of 13. Subtract 3 from both sides. And x equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 13. Awesome. So recap. We did the standard form. We looked at the vertex form. We uh, saw how to deal with imaginary numbers. And we completed the square. And of course, remember, completing the square is very useful. If you have any questions, shoot off an email to me at mrkazi at mrkazi.com. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up and take some time to watch and check out my videos. And most of all, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot and peace.